Greetings and much blessings, or as it says in my Lakota language, Mitakuye Oyazin, or all my relatives. This video is part of my second installment of this channel's formation, because I believe everything ties in as far as the Angelicals and the Aboriginal. All of that is one and in the same. Because I believe the creator did not spread humans or human forms per se across the planet. He planted people at certain parts of the planet. So just think of this as, yes, instead of spread it, he planted us. This is part of the unknowns of the teachings out there into this world. Why am I posting this video because overall, as you can see, just based on kind of what you may see, even though it is a little blurry, I, I, I'm just literally holding up this camera to this picture. Um, for the longest, the so-called Native Americans have always lived a life very similar to the Bible, which is why when the Washizu came over here, which is Lakota for outsider, when the Washizu came over here, a lot of the Lakota said, we knew of the word before the white men came over here with the Bible. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's kind of funny. I didn't mean to cough, but yeah, amongst a lot of uh, the Lakota people that I know, they cough a lot. <laughs> yeah, a lot, of a lot of tobacco, a lot of uh, sage, you know, do a lot of sweat lodges. I think a cough is a good thing amongst an elder. If you're around him, if he coughs, that's a good thing. He has a peace pipe, as you see with this guy here, this wise man. Um, my role, my life, I think what the creator is bringing me here to be. Uh, I, I believe that I'm sent here as an angelic form. And in regards to what I am becoming, per se, I believe more of a wise man, more of a teacher type of a wise man. Um, who knows, maybe some chieftain too, if you will. That's what Sitting Bull was. He was a wise man that they had, uh, you know, they let him do chieftain because he really, at the time of his band of Lakota, uh, during his time with his band of Lakota, they really had no one else to guide them through the wars and the famines that were brought due to manifest destiny. So, um, so yeah, going forward, uh, just want to read y'all off this picture here. Uh, it just says native American 10 commandments. One is the earth is our mother. Take care of her. The second one is honor all your relations. Number three, open your heart and soul to the great spirit. I love number three because it just really ties into the way we should be talking about the creator. We got all these names that we are confused with, whether it is Ahaya, God, Jesus, Lord, Savior. To me, two principal names really are the best names to refer to the higher power. And higher power shouldn't even be even said either. Because there's always something higher than the higher, right? The highest. Some people say the most high. Well, that's true, but I think the creator doesn't want to be compared to things that are the least by being labeled as the most. He is the one and only. So yes, great spirit and creator. So... One can deviate from great spirit, too, because one can say, well, there, that means that there could be something greater. There could be a greater spirit. But nevertheless, I want you all just to get an idea of that. Uh, so we move on from number three to number four. All life is sacred. Treat all beings with respect. Number five, take from the earth what is needed and nothing more. Hmm. We should tell capitalism that, right? <laughs> number six. Do what needs to be done for the good of all. Number seven, 
Give constant thanks to the great spirit for each new day. So wake up saying, thank you, creator. Number eight, speak the truth, but only of the good in others. So even if you know about the bad of others, don't speak on it. Leave it alone. That's not your problem. Number nine, follow the rhythms of nature. Rise and retire with the sun. Last but not least, enjoy life's journey, but leave no tracks. So yes, learn how to tread lightly. Avoid chaos and drama. And uh, you'll be all right. Hang in there and just remain low key. So um, we must reestablish that here on Turtle Island. We must reestablish that in the families, in the homes, amongst each other. And this will in turn start to flow out to the rest of this continent. And so this is what we must reestablish. Just talking from an Aboriginal point of view. Much blessings.